Welcome back to Yes Your Grace. We are still trying to investigate who killed the king and save up money to build a training ground before we are horribly invaded. Let's see what week 12 brings, I guess. Not much we can do right now. Oh, hello. Ooh, you look like a hunter. You may... Is that a frog? Right. Hi, how'd the drug trade go? Your grace. Operation got pretty hot. It wasn't possible to avoid bloodshed. Nevertheless, we have secured Lord Etten's dustwares. Fantastic! What's up? How's the investigation going? I found this animal tooth. I don't know how it ended up in our castle. I've prepared a table for you. We should invite the question, Lord. Maybe someone knows how I was able to. Remember, they might not always tell the truth, your grace. And while we're inviting them, we should try to form alliances too. Yes, we are doing that. You look useful. Hello, lady. How are you? A pleasure to meet you, your grace. And my biggest condolences about, although I didn't like him at all. I don't think anybody did, but I mean, that's politics. Lurz has explained your situation to me. I believe I can help, for something in return, of course. You see, you have something I want to give my son. Hmm. Is it a daughter? Because... Yep, it's a daughter. I want... I would like your daughter to marry him. You don't have a huge amount to offer in return. Like, the other guy was giving me a 3,000 strong army. Like, you're good, but you're not that good. You're not, like, daughter-worthy. I mean, you have a 300 army. You gotta be in the thousands for one of my girls. I believe this would greatly strengthen our relationship for years to come. And as a start, I would lend you my army. 300 fully equipped and trained soldiers all ready to stand against Redovia. It's more than I have, I'll admit, but it's not great. Along with the men, four gold and five supplies. So what do you say? Let me think about it. Of course. Take as much time as you like. Just remember that Redovia won't be waiting for you to get ready. I don't think you're worth a daughter. I'll be perfectly honest. All right, bring me the frog. Is this a new pet you're hiding there? No. Yes, my grace. May I introduce you to... Okay. The stabber. <laughs> oh, no. The hedgehog. Ah, he's a hedgehog. Much better. This... Fine. Keep him. I don't care. What is this all about? Well, father, do you know the tale of Hansen? No. Hansen was a hedgehog who rode on a black rooster, your grace. He was ugly and unwanted, but one day he helped a king find his way home, and as a prize, the hedgehog asked him to promise to give him whatever greets him first upon his return back home. It turned out the king's daughter was the first to greet him. One year later, the hedgehog came to claim his reward and marry the princess. It was difficult for the princess to love the ugly creature Hansen was. Once she learned to accept him, and once she proved her true love for him, Hansen turned into the most handsome prince with the biggest castle made out of diamonds. Story sounds familiar. I wish life was as simple as a fairy tale. Yes, Lady Dancia always tells me this tale before bed. It's a well-known story. A lot of books have different versions. The most popular was something about an old man with white hair killing monsters. Ah, oh, references, I see. It's very silly, but Dancia likes this one a lot. See, I will turn the stabber into a prince. A prince? Of course. It's not for me, father. Once the stabber is a prince, he can help me get Luli back. I'm sure she will like him more than Ivo. Sounds like adultery, but okay. And then Dusty can come back to the castle. Okay, keep him. I don't care. Just don't let him end up in a salad. It's not the stabber, it's the stabber! The stabber is on a mission, and he's about to stab someone. Holy shit, you're unstable as fuck, aren't you? At least she will be occupied. Losing your sister, like, snapped your mind like a twig, didn't it? I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Hey, you, you look like a hunter. Please, I need some advice. What's up, my friend? Your grace, of course it has. Because why wouldn't it be? Their scum are fiercer than any others. There have been casualties. They killed an entire family. We are counting on help from your general, your grace. We should keep an eye on these bandits. Make sure the Rodovians are not creating further posts. If they are locals, we should show them there is no place for such behavior. Two weeks, though. 
That's a big investment. Although the fact that he specifically told me I should send someone. Okay, I'm trusting your, your advice. You're my advisor for a reason. I will send someone. I wish I could get more generals though. That would be so helpful. I knew we would get revenge. Thank you, your grace. Okay. Let's see who is a good person to invite. Do I invite Lurz and tell him about this? I guess we wait. Um, who has a decent sized army? You're not bad, I guess. I really wish I could investigate places. If I just say I want to send a general, yeah, there's no agents available. That's a disappointment. Okay. <sighs> yeah, 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 plants. Hello, how's it going? What do you think about finding another daughter of Prince? She's still young. I thought we wouldn't have to think about it until after the battle. I know, I wasn't really sure what to tell her. She was offering her support in the battle if we agree. We need as much help as we can get, but I don't want to let a sailor go. I'll leave the decision up to you. Well, that's... I don't want to give another daughter away. Okay, 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 okay. The point is, um, I, I don't want to. We'll just, we'll wait. For now. And it's also not a good deal. I, I feel like we can make such a better alliance later. That's just a shit deal. Lady Lena visited me. Who's at your sister's wedding? Why are you telling me this? Well, she asked if you would like to marry her son. But before you throw a tantrum, now that I haven't given her the decision yet. Oh, I see. I guess I won't have much say in this matter anyway. Well, I don't know. What do you think? I don't even know him! Do you think I want to marry a stranger? Is there anyone that you know and would want to marry? No. You need to find someone. You know how this works. Could you find someone with a just gigantic army? No one is ever ready for this. Well, I told her. I should have told her I'm not going to do it, but you know. Okay. Let's see how this plays out. Quite an uneventful week, this one. We build our training grounds with the money that we now have. And that'll be really useful. We keep paying. Good. Good, 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 good. Week 13. Here we go. Ooh, you're a dragon slayer. Ooh, a letter. <sighs> Alright, what the... Okay, that's not question. King Alva Great... Hey, the crazy guy's back! Brilliant, I love crazy guys. King Alva greatly mourns the loss of his father. The funeral took place as we arrived in there. Travis is already missed among the lords and advisors. Together with King Alva, we prayed for justice for his father. They say he's in a better place now. The journey home helped King Ivor clear his head and realizes that as the King of Davern, you didn't have anything to do with poisoning his father. Although you and King Ivor didn't part in a friendless manner, King Ivor wished to apologize for his word, but says his advisors forced him to stand by his decision. King Ivor wishes to send you his support as his father's promised, but his eyes are, hands are tied until the royal trial is concluded. He counts on a quick investigation into the murder, which he believes will prove your incidents yours. Except the, his hands aren't tied. He's the king. His advisors advise him, but he could just overrule them and go, No, I'm supporting this person because I know he didn't do it because I would be fucking stupid. Like, he can just override his advisors. They, he's the king. Yeah, king Ivo. I still can't get used to that. I suppose no one imagined Ivo taking the throne so soon. An interesting problem presenting itself. I don't have any sons. What happens, I guess, when I die, my kingdom goes to Ivo now. Like, what happens to my kingdom when I die? I don't have a, an heir to take the throne. I just have daughters. That's an interesting predicament, especially with a battle coming up. I could very easily die. It's interesting. 
At least he knows I didn't poison his father. We'll need to convince the advisors. They will need to see the murder before they support sending their whole army to help Devon. You will find the one responsible, I'm sure. Is Oscar about herself or Dusty? I kind of want to ask her about herself. Well, maybe asking her about Dusty will cheer her up. Let's just make sure she's okay first. Just make sure she's okay. Dragon Slayer, I need one of you. Let's talk. Your Grace, it is I. Oh, you're the guy I invited. The Dragon Slayer, bowing low before you. I get the feeling I'm not going to like you. Also, okay. Okay, okay. Girl wedding was fantastic. I didn't realize I invited you, but okay. Well, until, you know, Wolfenstein. <laughs> Wolfen! But among all the pleasures, I didn't have a chance to introduce myself. You're the fa Let's just be polite. You're the famous dragon slayer. Oh yes, I'm quite accustomed to my fame preceding my arrival. It is my pleasure to meet you. I need your help. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm... Polite, we're a king. Polite, I'm all ears. The beast was fast. Its sharp claws could tear through human skin with absurd ease. I stole into its home forest with great care and planned a path to its defeat. The dragon's nest was at the very top of a mighty oak tree overlooking a rushing river. Clever as I am, I noticed that the nest was full of hatchlings. Mucky little dragon puppies. I chopped the tree down while the big one wasn't there. The great oak creaked, groaned, and fell straight into the furious river underneath, taking the dragon's young with it. The squeak of the little dragons carried far, and so the big beast himself appeared, herself, whatever. Desperately trying to save her babies from the brutal current, she kept crashing into one boulder after the other. At last, she dragged her battered body onto the shore, but the weakened creature was no match for my mighty arm, and the beast was no more. After all, wits and brain come before strength and fists. Remember that, kids. I mean, your grace. That's actually, I thought he was going to like tell some bullshit story, but that actually sounds, like, the whole point of that story actually sounds plausible. You can't beat a dragon in a straight-up fight. So he gets rid of the children, it tries to like fight in the current and then tires itself out and you can just easily kill it. It's like fighting smart is better than, like, if the enemy is stronger than you, then you need to be smarter than the enemy. Actually, like, a fairly, you know, makes sense. I thought he was going to tell some bullshit story. Impressive, isn't it? After that and the other adventures, of course, I traveled to Davern, so you can further challenges. So I've come straight to the king. Now tell me your grace, what evil creatures around here are standing in beautiful land? Bandits? Redovians, it's about it. What if I say there's a monster? What will you do? Peasants mention the occasional basilisk or some other monster. All these nightmares are nothing to our real problem. Redovia. Redovia? Well, I've never heard of such a creature. Well, welcome, join me. So what is it? What does it do? Emit gas? Crush men's bones under its heavy hooves? Breathe fire? It's an army. What if I say we don't know? No, let's be honest. It's an army. It's an army from behind the tall mountains. They aim to claim Davron as their own. And an army? I see. Well, that is a hell of a challenge. I can help, though. They call me, well, I call me that. Nobody calls me that, but you know. Of these I've mentioned, I've met a lot of people. You even more owe me their lives. I will give you all I can. Soldiers, supplies. I will stand by your side at battle. Okay. I reckon I can gather 180 men. And five supplies will also come in handy. And in return, I ask for, oh, absolutely nothing at all. I'm a noble and upstanding knight. I love to serve and help and, well, be famous. Aiding the King of Davern in a real battle. They will write fine songs about this. Wonderful! I like you! Good! Welcome aboard. I found... I f really like you. You're doing it for fame, but at least you are doing it. I found this large tooth. 
Would you know anything about it? You are, after all, the famous dragon slayer. That's an impressive tooth that must have been one hell of a beast. Do you know where it could have come from? Ah, wish I could tell you about uh, defeating such an imposing beast, Your Grace. Sadly, I cannot, because this tooth is not one from my collection. I don't think so, anyway. I wish it was, though. Can I buy it off you? No, it's evident. Maybe after the royal trial. That is all. Thank you for your army. Fuck off now. Hello! Crazy man. I like you. Let's talk. Hey, you! Yeah. You've really gone overboard this time. What did I do now? I know it was you. Can we get some guards so the crazy guy doesn't stab the king, you know? Just someone to like be like, hey, maybe don't get this close to the king, crazy man. Now everything is clear. I stayed in the woods waiting for three weeks. But now I know. Calm down. I don't know what... You don't know what you're talking about. Sir, this is all just happening in your head. No one is trying to harm you. You need to calm down. In my head? But my door was open and my cat was gone. Might have been my daughter. She wouldn't have left by herself. She's a cat. Of course she would. No! That's a lie! Why am I here? I better go now. I can leave, right? What do I do? What do I do? Okay. Daughter, why are you holding a mop? Why are you here with that brush? Mother made me sweep the corridor. Right, what did you do now? Nothing. Tell me what you did. Nothing! Your mother will tell me what you did if you won't. And, uh, you know, if you tell me the story, you can try and sugarcoat it and make it sound a little bit better, where she'll just tell me, like, the worst possible version of the story. So you want to be the one to tell me the bad news so that you can sugarcoat it a bit. I'd better stop, start sweeting before she finds me. Well... Okay, do you have to do that right there? That's actually really fucking annoying. Hello! My name is Olivia, you're great. Okay. Olivia, you have some bells. Ah, are you a medic? I need one of you. I'm the leader of the cult of the trees in the western woods. I know I am probably not welcome here, but you are my last hope, your grace. I have asked all the neighboring villagers for help, but they despise my god. In the middle of the forest, we have a sacred oak, and because of all the recent rains, the area around it has flooded. What is up with this music? The stream of water keeps running all over its roots. We have tried stopping the water, but we don't have the appropriate tools. Our people need this tree to pray to. So do you pray to the tree, or is the tree like a symbol of your god? Is the tree your god, or a symbol of god? Without it, they are depressed and scared. I can't bear to see them so helpless. Please help us, your grace. You'll actually be really useful. I can't afford to help you, but I want to so badly. A worshipping oak. Your grace, it is the tree of the god of thunder. Okay, so it's just, uh, it's a symbol of... Can I go into debt? Can I be like, here, you know, minus two gold? Can I send a general? No! No, 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 I need to help these people. This is where I get the witch that helps me. The, like, medic of the woods. No, 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 no. Shit. Uh, I shouldn't... Where did I send my general? Oh, I sent him to that other thing that would also take two weeks. Shit! Can you come back in a week and I will help you? Please. No! I don't want to tell them this. No! 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 <laughs> Shit! What do you want? Just tell me what you want. Your Grace, a traveling merchant here. I have some rather exclusive ways of your here. Silk, perfume, whatever your soul. Ah! Do you sell dust? Four more delicate merchandise. Dust? I have a knack for these things, am I right? Tell me more. You should leave, but you're not going to. Tell me more. Oh, how fantastic. Dust? You see, I have something very precious here. Satisfaction for the most delusion pleasure seekers. <gasps> you sell dust. Yes. Tell me about the dust. 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 Me about the dust. Yes. Ah, here you go. Arrest him! 
Your Grace, but there's nothing wrong with selling a few packs of sugar dust. What other pleasures are you talking about? Oracle dust? I've never heard of it. How dare you lie to your king. My guards will take care of you at the exit. Your Grace, I think we should check in with Lurz. When we arrive down some talks and he may be ready for an alliance. Right. Get him over here. Who else is going to be useful? Probably you. But I can only send one pigeon at a time. Yep. Ugh. I'm so pissed off about that. Hi there, do you want to tell me what you did yet? Your Grace? No? Okay, well I'm going to talk to your mother. So, you know... Oh, I'm so pissed off. That was going to be so helpful to have the cult of the tree people. <laughs> Darling. Right, just tell me what you did. She's been, she is behaving worse and worse as she grows up. That tends to be the case. She convinced one of her servants to practice sword fighting with her. Oh, did she kill him? It didn't end well. The servant ended up with a huge cut on his cheek. You shouldn't have let her play with swords. I know I shouldn't have, but I feel if I said no, she'd still do it in secret. I know, Eric. We need to pay more attention to her, especially now that Luli is on here. Okay. Is the servant good? We don't have a doctor. How good it's raining in the real world. Can we please not put people in the same cell as the Rodovian? Hey, motherfucker. I can't bear this place. Please let me up. I didn't know your grace disapproves of the dust. I thought it was like any other consumable product. People get sick because of this stuff. Everyone who sells da dust in Davern will be imprisoned. You'll stay here until Lord Lurz arrives. So, shall we talk about the sword fighting? Hmm? You wanna tell me about it? No? Okay. So, another week has gone by. The investigation has gone nowhere. We've messed out on an opportunity to get the three people to help us. It's going horribly. But we are getting more soldiers, which I suppose is good. And that other guy agreed to help us for nothing because he wants to be famous, which is good. I feel like the bad is outweighing the good over here, really, you know? I wonder if there is some way, like, does the king always die, or is there some way to avoid that happening? I don't know. But I know we're having a bad time.